Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with lifeafterdeath.com. Lifeafterdeath.com is a community of people who have a fascination with this topic of life after death. You know, we ask ourselves questions, what happens after we die? You know, do we have bodies in the afterlife? Do pets go to heaven? You know, what, how are the mysteries of the universe going to be explained to us when we die? All these things are very fascinating topics and we'll be talking about it with experts and also writing articles on topics that we think are of interest to you. Now, we will talk about death in a, uh, you know, in a respectful and a rigorous way. We will ask questions. We will be the skeptic. We will ask questions in a, in a very open-hearted way and ask you to listen and comment in the same way. We'll also touch on the lighter side of death and in with books, movies, and other ways that we as human beings, you know, go about organizing our thoughts, our relationship with death, and hope that it's a, an exercise for you that is enlightening and, um, and you know, gives you some context for your own fears, for your own hesitations, and your own experiences. So please, whenever we leave an article, please leave your comments and your feedback. And um, I'm going to talk to you about today about one of the articles we wrote on intriguing questions that, um, you know, about life after death that our, com that our community has asked us. And these are the types of questions that we are going to be answering over the next few years. Um, it's going to go on and we welcome your suggestions for speakers, for interviewees and for topics. So there are some um, questions that a lot, well, that most people ask in one way or the other. And, you know, what is your kind of a question about the afterlife. What what do you think? So I guess the first thing people say was, well, does it matter? You know, does it matter what we do here on earth as relates to the afterlife? And I think that um, if we lead good life or, you know, uh, indifferent or whatever, are we, or whether we're a spiritual person, whether we follow a particular religion, or are we going to have the same experience when we're in the afterlife as we are here? So does it matter? And I think that that's um, uh, the heart of a lot of religious traditions to explain um, how behavior, how the rules of society work so that you can position yourself for um, a good place in the afterlife. So that whole um, association between our real life here on, on earth and what happens after, I think is a question that a lot of people ask. You know, are we going to get rewarded for good behavior? Another question that a lot of people asked is, you know, will the afterlife be the place where the mysteries of the universe are revealed? You know, will we meet this being that we call God? You know, will he reveal his secrets to us? Will we have one question that we can ask him? <laughs> well, or will we continue to learn and grow? Is it a dimension or a place where we go where we just keep on learning? And many traditions would believe come back if we need to, back to earth if we need to learn more. So I think we all agree that while we're on earth, our, our knowledge is limited. We are not perfect beings. Do, does that continue? Will the mysteries of the universe that we cannot grasp now in our present body, in our, with our present brain, be revealed? Another question that people always ask is, can we communicate with people in the afterlife? or in this world of heaven or whatever you want to call it? And you know, are the two types of existence complementary? Does, does the person who has died care about us? Do they see us? Do they watch our lives and see what we're doing? And, and, and do they join us? Do they come and talk to us? Do they, do they send us messages? Is it possible for them to communicate? And I've, I've recently done an interview with someone on this topic and um, it's very compelling when you talk to someone who has, um, is a medium and who is experienced in this topic um, and, and has had those conversations. So that's another one. Is there a way to communicate in the afterlife? Another question that people ask is, do we have bodies in the afterlife? I mean, would, you know, I guess it would be, maybe to some people, quite boring if we just died and didn't, um, you know, didn't have a body to enjoy the pleasures of this, this place, this, this world that we're potentially going to go to. So I think that's another thing that's on people's minds. And, or is it more of a, a spirit, a soul? Is it a body that has some kind of substance but not substance and so we can't see it like a person who is here on earth cannot see that body but can it be manifest in different uh, ways 
uh, nature, um, you know, butterflies, uh, things that where, where the soul can enter and communicate. It's a very, very interesting topic. Um, and then there's another, I guess it's related here, is that is life after death final <laughs> or do we get to come back again? Uh, is it our final destination? Whether we need to carry on learning or not. I mean, perhaps the learning continues there. It continues in a different place. Um, or do we get a chance to come back? Um, I, I, you know, the, would God want to ever repopulate the earth? So do we have that potential to be reborn? Or is, is it your tr understanding or your belief that we do come back? That it's a very, matter is never created or destroyed, that it goes on and on, maybe in a different form. So that's another question. And these, by the way, are all questions that we're gonna be asking over the course of the next few months and, and years. But the final question that our community asked us to, you know, it's on their mind about the afterlife is, will I see my family again? Will I see my family again? Most common wish that we have for the afterlife is that we'll be able to see the people that have left before us and who we cared about and we loved Perhaps, pe perhaps people that we had unfinished business with, people that we didn't say goodbye to, or people that we just liked and really wanted to be close to. People had an enormous impact on our lives. But what if we have a different religion than them? You know, does that mean we don't see each other or is it all one religion when you get to get to the afterlife, when you get to that place? Um, you know, if, if, you were, if you unfortunately you lose a child, Will you see that child? Will it be able to communicate with you, even a baby or, or a small child? Will pets be waiting for us? You know, these are questions that are so fascinating and we just don't know. And even if you say that you believe, that's one thing, but you can't say that you know for sure that that's going to be the case. So I think that this is really um, fascinating. People sometimes say, I don't even want to know. <laughs> you know, I'm going to just go believe what I, my faith t teaches me and I'm just going to go and, with an open heart and just, you know, and, and experience whatever happens. And maybe that is what we need to do. But I'd love to get your feedback on this. You know, what questions do you have about life after death? Leave them in the comment section below because we will be looking at, the, at your comments and your feedback and doing further articles and interviews. So we want this to be for you. You know, we want it to be something that's useful to you. So please uh, give us your feedback and support. So that's our topic for today. Questions, read the article and get a more in-depth view of this, uh, this topic. And I look forward to seeing you all back here again for another, co another conversation about life after death. Take very good care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.